My name is Marisa Churchill. I have now created the most delicious, low-calorie desserts using much healthier ingredients. Guilt-free desserts that everyone can enjoy. Today we're going to talk about Glika Hori Zachari. Now part of the reason I want us to focus today on baking without sugar is because I get so many emails from people that can't have sugar, whether it's because i nekamuehi zachara diabetes or my husband's trying to cut it out of his diet. There's so many reasons why people can't have sugar and sugar plays such an important role in baking. So when you take it out, a lot of different things can happen. Σήμερα θα σας δείξω μερικές συνταγές που θα φτιάξουμε με στέβια. Για την πρώτη συνταγή μας θα φτιάξουμε μια απλή και καταπληκτική πανακότα με φράουλες. Now you can see, έχουμε πολύ γλίγα υλικά στο τραπέζι σήμερα. In fact, the only thing that's missing is το ελληνικό στραγγιστό γιαούρτι. Panacotta is an Italian glico. What does it mean, panacotta? It means maggiorimeni crema. Well, that doesn't sound too light and healthy to me. An glico with mono crema galactos. But now I'm going to show you a very easy way to make it. First, we need 200 ml gala. Now, this is full fat milk. We're using this. We want to use the full fat milk instead of the low fat milk because it's going to give us just a little bit of richness, but it's still much better for us than using the crema galactose. So, θα ρίξουμε το γάλα μέσα στη κατσαρόλα. Ρίχνουμε μέσα στέβια. Now, stevia looks just like sugar. You really can't tell the difference. And they have crystalliki stevia, and they also have stevia that's liquid form. But we're going to use the crystal stevia. Κάτι σημαντικό να ξέρουμε με στέβια είναι ότι είναι διακόσιες φορές πιο γλυκιά από τη ζάχαρη. So you don't need to use as much stevia as you use ζάχαρη. Τώρα σε μεσαία φωτιά δεν είναι απαραίτητο να το βράσουμε, αλλά πρέπει να διώσουμε τη στέβια. Give it a little stir. Και τώρα θα πάρουμε τα φύλλα τζελατίνης. Τα έχω σπάσει σε κομμάτια. Θα ρίξουμε λίγο κρύο νερό πάνω. Είναι σημαντικό να χρησιμοποιήσουμε κρύο νερό. If you use warm water, it's going to start to melt the gelatin and it'll affect the way that the panna cotta sets. So you want to make sure that the water you're using is cold. Θέλουμε 178 γραμμάρια από το γιαούτι με χαμηλά λιπαρά. You're going to see the yogurt is going to give this such a beautiful thick texture. It's not only going to give us a dessert that has a lot of protein in it, but it's going to give us that thickness that you're not going to get if you just use milk alone. Also, the tartness of the yogurt is going to be beautiful with the fresh berries. The fila gelatinis echon malakosi. Just kind of lightly give them a little shake to get out the extra water. We'll go ahead and throw them in. I've now turned the milk off the heat. The reason that this is important is because if you throw the milk in with the yogurt when it's hot, you're going to get a little bit of separation in with the yogurt, and it's not going to look pretty. We want this to be nice and smooth and silky. Now we'll take the fraules and we'll put them in the pot, and we'll put them on top of the panna cottas later on once the panna cottas have set up. Now the fraules are ready. We want the fraules to be about the same amount of water with our water. We'll put the fraules in the pot. Μέσα με το γιαούτι. Και το ανακατεύουμε με ένα σύρμα. Τώρα θα τα βάλουμε μέσα στα μπολς εδώ.
Πριν τα βάζουμε μέσα στο ψυγείο, έχουμε πολλές μικρές φούσκες εδώ. If we don't get rid of those, they're going to go ahead and stay in the panna cotta. We don't want them to set with those in there because it just doesn't look as nice. So τώρα θα σας δείξω κάτι πολύ απλό που μπορείτε να κάνετε για να φεύγουν. Ο πρώτος τρόπος είναι με μια οδοντογλυφίδα. Now what you do is you just take the toothpick and you're just going to poke it right in into the φούσκες. Ο δεύτερος τρόπος είναι με το φλόγιστρο. Just turn it on. And just run it right across the top, just like this. And pop, they all disappear. And that's it. Τόσο απλή είναι αυτή η συνταγή. Τώρα θα τα πάρουμε and we'll just take them, put them into the fridge για περίπου τρεις ώρες, τέσσερις ώρες, μέχρι να πήξουν. Τώρα θα μαζέψω τη κουζίνα. Τώρα θέλω να σας δώσω μερικές πληροφορίες για τη στέβια. Η στέβια είναι φυσικό προϊόν. It's been used in South America for hundreds of years. Αλλά υπάρχουν παραπάνω από 200 φυτά στέβια. So there's a lot of difference in quality and types of stevia. So it's really important that you become familiar with the different types, which one works best for you in baking, which one you like the flavor of as well, because there's a lot of differences in flavor. Sometimes people believe that so certain types of stevia pikrizun uh, But you can see too, I have here both stevia and sugar. You can see how similar they look. The stevia is a little bit more of a fine grain, a little bit paler in color, but they're very similar. What's important though is that the way that they perform in baking isn't always the same, which is why it's very important that you have calesse de yes. Now this is one of the things that I love about panna cotta, is it's something that's very simple to make and we've taken all of the chemistry out of baking. It's not like a cake that we're putting into the oven. So, na mina hete anchos e anthelta na fiaxe te panna cotta me stevia and dia zachari. Si wora ta hete kalo apotelisma. Pama na parma ta panna cotta mastora. Σήμερα θα βάζουμε φράουλες πάνω, αλλά μπορείτε να χρησιμοποιείτε ό,τι φρούτο θέλετε. Βατόμουρα, μύρτιλα. It's really up to you, but I like the way that the strawberries taste with this panna cotta. Just take a little spoonful of the strawberries, put them right in the center. Gorgeous. There we go. It's done. And it looks so beautiful with the berries on top. Masdini Liu Chroma Pano. Also, the berries are rich in antioxidotica, vitamins. So this is something that's very good for us. This is something that everybody can enjoy. This isn't something you have to make in Anechite Zachra Diaviticus. All people can enjoy this. Είναι ένα απλό γλυκό, αλλά πεντανόστιμο. Mm. Θα φτιάξουμε ένα πάτι σπάνι χωρίς ζάχαρη. And we'll make the layers for our τούρτα. Take a knife and just run it around the edge. Και η τούρτα μας χωρίς ζάχαρη είναι έτοιμη. Για τη δεύτερη συνταγή μας σήμερα θα φτιάξουμε ένα πάτι σπάνι χωρίς ζάχαρη. Now this is a wonderful cake to use, like a vasi, for whatever kind of cake base that you want. This is a wonderful sugar-free cake to use for any cake recipe you want. This is something that you can use for a variety of different cakes. Θέλουμε ένα ταψί. Έχω βάλει λίγο λαδόχαρτο και λάδι. Είναι 37 και 33 εκατοστά και έχω προθερμάνει το φούρνο στους 200 βαθμούς. 
When we're baking without sugar and we're making a cake, it's really important to understand what role sugar plays in baking because sugar isn't just meant to sweeten a cake. Sugar builds texture and structure in cakes. It adds moisture and it helps provide texture by caramelizing. So it's doing a lot of different things. What we're going to do is we're going to use whipped eggs and marenga to build structure into the cake, kori zahari. Πρώτα θα σπάσουμε τα αυγά. Θέλουμε τρία αυγά. Και ένα σπράδι. Θα χτυπήσουμε τα αυγά για μερικά λεπτά στην πιο υψηλή ταχύτητα και σιγά σιγά θα ρίξουμε μέσα τη στέβια. Την ίδια στιγμή θα κοσκινήσουμε 78 γραμμάρια μαλακό αλεύρι και 36 γραμμάρια άγλικο κακάο. Το άγλικο κακάο είναι πλούσια σε αντιοξυδωτικά, δεν έχει ζάχαρη, φυσικά άγλικο είναι, and it's a great substitution for using chocolate if you want to make a rich chocolatey patispani. Our eggs have gotten beautiful lift now. They're really light and fluffy and delicate. Once they get to this point, we can start adding the stevia. Etimo. Richtume keto lati, mesa meto alevri, keto cacao. Και θέλω ξανά να κοσκινήσουμε το μείγμα μέσα στο μπολ με τα αυγά. Now the reason that we're going to go ahead and do this twice is because we want to work out every little last lump that's in there. This is going to help to keep all that air in. And then κάνουμε αυτό, you can have heavy flour in there that's going to fall to the bottom and it's going to actually drop some of the air out of there. Because we're not baking with sugar, it's really important that we keep all that air in it to give it extra lift, extra structure. Just give this a little mix in. And you can see the tropos που το κάνω είναι σαν το διπλώνο. Δεν θέλουμε να το χτυπήσουμε δυνατά. We don't want to hit this really hard because we don't want to work the air out. Again, our goal here is just to keep as much air in as possible. We'll add in the rest of the alevri que hago de cacao. Τρεις κουταλιές σούπας ηλεαλέο. Με τη προστίκη του λαδιού, you're going to see that some of the air is going to collapse out. Don't panic, it's okay. Και τώρα θα φτιάξουμε μερέγγα, and it'll give us that lift again. because we don't want any of the yolks to break. In order to get lift in meringue, it needs to have no fat in it. So it's really important that the egg yolks don't break. Because if they do, it's going to add fat into the meringue. We're not going to get as much lift. There we go. Rihnume ta spradia mesa. Και θα τα χτυπήσουμε στην πιο υψηλή ταχύτητα μέχρι να φουσκώσουν. Ωραία. Η μερέγγα είναι σχεδόν έτοιμη. Θα ρίξουμε μέσα εκχύλισμα βανίλιας. Mm. 
etimene. Ore. Tora. Rihto me ti marenga, mesa me ti migma me ti chocolata. Gonna put in just half, give it a little fold, and then we'll put in the rest. Now we'll just take an offset palette knife and use it to spread the mixture around. So what you want to do is you want to take the tip of the palette knife and put it against the tapsi, and you're going to use that to help guide the cake along the tapsi. It's going to help ensure that everything is baked evenly. See how I just take it, the offset palette knife, and I use it to, I use the tapsi to guide the palette knife, and then I just go ahead and rotate the tapsi around. This is an easier way to do it. If you're trying to drag the palette knife around and move it around like this, you're not gonna have as much control. So just go ahead, drag the palette knife around, rotate the tapsi. It's gonna help give you control and ensure even baking. Tora to pat espanimas in etimo yeta forno. Έχουμε τα υλικά μας για τη κρέμα. Πρέπει να δούμε όμως εάν το πατισπάνι είναι έτοιμο. Νομίζω ότι είναι γιατί χτύπησε το ρολόι. Τέλειο! Now, you can tell that patispani is ready because what you do is you can either, you can insert a little knife into it to make sure, but you can just press your finger against it and you can see that it bounces right back. That's what we're looking for. Now, the key to patispani, and this is pio simantico, otan fiaklume en a ke kori zahari, but always it's important. You want to bake this at a high heat quickly. What that's going to do is that's going to trap in the moisture. You want this cake to stay nice and soft. So we only bake this for 10 minutes at the okoshu spathmus. Για να ξεκινήσουμε με τη κρέμα, θέλουμε 120 ml γάλα ευαπορέ. Θα ρίξω το μισό μέσα στη κατσαρόλα. Now, I'm not going to throw all of it in, because I want this to get cold very quickly. I'm going to put the gelatin in here. Just let it soften up right in the γάλα ευαπορέ. Θα χρησιμοποιήσουμε γάλα υβαπορέ με ζελατίνη. What does that do? Αντικαθιστούμε τη κρέμα γάλακτος με γάλα υβαπορέ και ζελατίνη. What we're doing here is we're actually going to set the γάλα υβαπορέ a little bit. And that's going to allow us to actually whip it up just like whipped cream, but with a fraction of the fat and calories. Τώρα τα φύλλα ζελατίνης έχουν μαλακώσει και θα βάλουμε τη κατσαρόλα πάνω στο μάτι της κουσίνας σε μεσαία φωτιά μέχρι να λιώσουν. Now you want to make sure that you stir this, sinejos. Just, we just want to just heat this up just until the gelatin melts. It's important not to heat this up too much because excessive or prolonged heat can damage gelatin. And the gelatin is what's going to actually make this lift and turn into whipped cream. Τώρα θα το ρίξουμε πάλι μέσα σε αυτό το bowl με το γάλα υβαπορέ. And we're going to go ahead and place this in the refrigerator or in the freezer. You just want it to set up a little bit, and then we're going to go ahead and whip it up. Now, 
Τώρα που περιμένουμε για το γάλα η βαπορέ, θα χτυπήσουμε το τυρί κρέμα light και τη στέβια. Θα τα χτυπήσουμε σε μεσαία ταχύτητα για περίπου ένα λεπτό. Αντί για τυρί κρέμα full fat και ρικότα με full fat, χρησιμοποιούμε τυρί κρέμα light, ρικότα light και το ελληνικό στραγγιστό γιαούρτι με 2% λιπαρά. Τώρα ρίχνουμε μέσα τη ρικότα και το γιαούρτι. Και ανακατεύουμε το μείγμα για ένα λεπτό σε μεσαία ταχύτητα. Τώρα θα βάλουμε δύο κουταλιές σούπας άγλικο κακάο μέσα. going to take my marisa and I'm going to scrape down the sides of the bowl because I can tell I've got some cocoa and some cream cheese and yogurt that has not mixed in yet. Πάμε να δούμε τώρα εάν το γάλα υβαπορέ είναι έτοιμο. Τέλειο είναι. This is exactly what you want. You can see how it's έχει πήξει right here around the edges. That's what we want. It doesn't need to all be set. Just needs to be setting up a little bit. So now that we have it like this, put it in. Και θα χτυπήσουμε το γάλα υβαπορέ στη πιο υψηλή ταχύτητα και θα δείτε θα φουσκώσει ακριβώς σαν κρέμα γάλακτος. Look at that. Ακριβώς σαν σαν τη γη. Τώρα θα ρίξουμε μέσα το μείγμα με τη σοκολάτα. Χτυπήσουμε μέχρι να συνδυαστούν. Τώρα για να φτιάξουμε τη τούρτα θα ρίξουμε μέσα στα γόνες σοκολάτας. Σήμερα που φτιάχνουμε συνταγές μόνο χωρίς ζάχαρη, προτείνω να βάρετε σταγόνες με στέβια or another type of natural sweetener. Give these a little stir in. Now, we'll take our forma and we'll make the layers for our torta. Take a knife and just run it around the edge of the pan. Πάρουμε λίγο λαδόχαρτο. Just take our cake. Flip it over. Now with patispani, I find that the best way to take off the λαδόχαρτο είναι στη μέση. Create one strip, peel it off, 
and then work from the edges. This helps to ensure that the cake doesn't tear. Other side, there we go. Θέλουμε τρεις στρώσεις στο κέικ. So, θα φτιάξουμε ένα κύκλο. Θέλουμε ένα αποσπόμενο τσέρκι. So now we just take the knife, run it around the edge. Make our circles. We'll make two circles and then we'll use the scraps for the center layer of the cake. Γιατί είναι κρίμα να πετάξουμε τα υπόλοιπα, so we'll use the scraps. Ωραία. So, το πρώτο το βάζουμε κάτω. Close up our cake pan. Εδώ έχουμε λίγο σιρόπι. This is a sugar-free hazelnut syrup. Now this is something else to think about. Εγώ προτείνω να κάνουμε κάτι με ξύρους καρπούς όταν χρησιμοποιούμε stevia. Stevia sometimes can have a little bit of bitterness at the end, so you want to try and find flavors that can help balance out that bitterness. And I find that nut flavors really do a great job with that. Now this is of course a sugar-free syrup, but you can use any flavor syrup you want. Vatomura, Fraules, Café. We'll give this a nice little brush. Now we'll go ahead, we'll add in part of our filling. Oh, this is gonna be good. Just spread the cream filling around. Now, to allo kiklo to karatishume yapano, because we want that to be perfect, obviously. And then we'll just roughly cut some circles with our knife from the center pieces here. They don't have to fit perfectly because you won't see the top, you won't see this layer of the cake. It's kind of like putting a puzzle together. Η έμπνευσή μου για αυτή τη συνταγή ήταν ένα email που μου έστειλε μια μαμά. And I was so touched by this. As I said earlier, I get a lot of emails from people suffering from diabetes. But this one was from a mother. Και μου είπε ότι το παιδί μου, εφτά χρονών, έχει ζαχροδιαβήτης και στη γιορτή του δεν μπορεί να τρώει μια τούρτα. And of course, that moved me because every child should get to have a piece of cake for their birthday, whatever, whatever party it is. So it was really important to me to come up with a wonderful recipe for a cake that somebody can have and enjoy even if they have diabetes. Και νομίζω με αυτή τη συνταγή το κατάφερα. Τώρα βάζουμε τη τελευταία βάση. Και κρέμα. Θα βάλουμε τη τούρτα μέσα στο ψείο. Η κρέμα πρέπει να δέσει λίγο. Αλλά πριν γιορτάσουμε, πρέπει να καθαρίσουμε. Just get it warm enough around the sides that it'll release from the tzerki. And then we can also take a few chocolate chips if we want. Να ρίξουμε μερικά πάνω. Και η τούρτα μας χωρίς ζάχαρη είναι έτοιμη. Νομίζω ότι η τούρτα μας είναι έτοιμη. Πάμε να δούμε. Έχει πήξει. 
και τώρα θα σας δείξω πώς θα βγάλω με τη τόρτα από τα αποσπόμενα τσέρκι. The best thing to do is use a φλόγιστρο, αλλά αν δεν έχετε μην ανησυχείτε, you can also use just a πιστολάκι. What we want to do, we don't want to get it hot enough that we're going to start melting the mousse. That's what's really important, για να μην λιώσει η κρέμα. But we want to just get it warm enough around the sides that it'll release from the τσέρκι. Now, once you've started to release it, if you see that it's not coming out, don't worry, just close it again, kikando pali, until it just releases very easily. Ora, now we'll take it, put it on here. Tora ta parme ta ipoli pa po to agliko cacao. Θα κοσκινήσουμε λίγο πάνω. It's a little bit too on the cake stand. This is just to give it a nice little look. And then we can also take a few chocolate chips if we want. Να ρίξουμε μερικά πάνω. και η τούρτα μας χωρίς ζάχαρη είναι έτοιμη. Είναι πολύ όμορφο στο τέλος της μέρας να νιώθεις ότι έχεις κάνει κάποιον ευτυχισμένο. Πόσο μάλλον όταν είναι ένα παιδί. It's days like this where I feel great satisfaction in my work. <Τι>